Take the cat and mouse game of Catch Me If You Can, the musical style of Kekai Sensen, the color palette of Kyoso Giga blended with a touch of Hotline Miami, the character interactions of Samurai Champloo, the plot twists of Ocean's Eleven, and the direction of 91 Days. Mix that all together with a healthy dose of Lupin, a sprinkle of Akka 13, and you get the best anime I've watched in the last two years. Great Pretender. Now, normally, I would go into a long video about how great it is in every facet, or at least the first arc, since at the time of this video being written, I still haven't seen anything beyond Los Angeles connection. But if you've been following me on Twitter, at value underscore replay, you know that my right wrist has been bugging me and I've needed to go on hiatus for a bit while I get it sorted out. I'm breaking that hiatus a touch because I really want you to watch Great Pretender if you haven't. And even though I'm only going off of that first arc, it doesn't affect my recommendation in the slightest. Since if you were to take the first five episodes as a movie and the subsequent arcs as sequels, I would still call Los Angeles Connection a masterpiece. Genuinely, if you like cat and mouse thrillers at all, or tight writing, or cooperative yet antagonistic team dynamics, or great color palettes, or a genuinely interesting character study, I think you'll get a kick out of what Great Pretender is throwing down. At least I did, for the first episode and the rest of the arc, and nothing diluted my love during my immediate rewatch. As a bonus, for those of you who do watch it, once I'm fully healed up, I'll be making a video going through the nuts and bolts of this first arc, Hyoka style, and maybe the subsequent ones too, depending on how much I like them. As a side note, I'd also recommend Decadence if you haven't jumped on that bandwagon yet. Incredibly strong character writing and plot pacing, just really solid series so far. Anyway, that's all. Catch y'all once my wrist is back to normal.